So this recording is about the art of making love. In order to make love, meaning nothing else than becoming one with another person, with another body, we have to free ourselves completely from desire, from any kind of sexual drive. Because in every kind of sexual drive or motivation, or kind of a grasping, we carry an energy which is violent, which wants to catch. So the desire of overcoming all that needs to be needs to be bigger than the desire of ego which is there to separate it's only when we are completely overwhelmed with all the suffering our ego is creating that we kind of get a chance to realize that this perspective and this way of living and this way of wanting is destructing ourselves and others what we see in life and television and you know, in the media is never love it is always the perspective of the ego which tries to convince us that this would be healthy or normal but for the empty body that all is pure violence it has nothing to do with love because love can only appear when the ego has completely collapsed and the interesting thing is that you can't practice any of this because the practice by itself kind of has an agenda, has a goal and love can only be there when there is absolutely no one wanting something so pure presence without any goal is what really satisfies the self and usually that kind of limited love which we are experiencing in relationships can never satisfy the being you are because it has this very limited perspective from where it wants something it wants to catch something it wants to experience something it wants to get stimulation from another body we are using each other for our own benefit so usually the way of loving another person is completely egoistic and completely selfish now by realizing that there is this sexual desire that there is all this um, 
energy which tries to find satisfaction like this sexual drive and all the desire we kind of get a chance to become wide and open enough to overcome that very limited perspective but we have to be completely aware of this aspect of ourselves it is only with awareness and realizing what is happening in our bodies and in the other person um, that we get a chance to experience something else something which is without these boundaries without these limitations and then we can maybe enter into this space of pure love which is free from my own wishes or desires or grasping, wanting. This space is pure presence with whatever it is. It's complete awareness of everything what is happening. And it is, it is this centeredness back into the truth you are, back into the source, back into God, back into the truth, the, the reality. What makes it so difficult when it comes to loving each other is that this love is limited in the way of it is uh, driven by an egoistic perspective and it can be only completely discovered if you are willing to dive deeper than this if you are willing to completely concentrate on something which is much more nourishing and for that you have to kind of dive under that usual very normal um, kind of automatic drive um, but learning to dive deeper and deeper and from this state of feeling calm empty solid very very relaxed from there the body can can breathe the body becomes so soft very gentle and from there you can kind of experience what it means to melt, become one and really making love. Because as I said, what we see is that people do violence to each other because they are using another body and you can only ever use someone or something for your own pleasure satisfaction if you are separated from someone or something but to completely let go of that you are it's possible for you to to dive deeper than this perspective and to dive into the truth of who you are and to reconnect with that what you truly are and that's something no one can ever grasp from you or no one can take from you because in this place you are one anyway 
And if two individuals are starting to enter and exercise into that place, the field of reality and truth, calmness, relaxation, love is appearing. So love is always there, but it's a question on which kind of level we are. So if we are in the mind space or in the in the emotional space or in the physical, um, the usual egoistic physical space, we are not completely as deep as we could be because pure reality is beyond all that. It's not limited by senses or anything. It's deeper than that. So if two individuals dive that deep, they meet each other on a level which is beyond all form, beyond all um, aspects of life which are separating. And only if we are capable to enter that place, we are capable to do love with each other. So creating love is kind of the art to be completely one with yourself, to be completely settling down into the absolute nature you are. It's, it's just the practice of being completely one with yourself. And from this place, being completely connected with yourself, you're starting to touch each, each other and all agenda, all knowing falls away, all wanting, grasping, simply subsides. There is no rule, there is no goal and two bodies are completely exploring the space with, with each other and in each other. But there is limitlessness in both of the individual bodies. And this, this place is without any boundaries. And there we find true love. That is the experience of making love. And as I explained it, you will probably notice that 99%, if not more, never experience that with a partner or with any any other human being. So love is what we are seeking the most. Oneness is what we are seeking the most. And this is what is so rare because the level of consciousness hasn't fall, fallen back into itself. So consciousness needs to recognize itself and only from there we are capable to explore and expand and unfold our true being. And from there we experience love because we are love and it's just one, one experience. <laughs>